Jimmy Wolf, the Roan Colt. We're ready to go, all in line. And they're off and pulverizing quickly, jumps to the lead. Houston on the outside in second, Dancil between them third. Northern Wolf on the outside is fourth, and Sunday Silence is right there and now fourth, moving up between horses. Passing the stands for the first time. Northern Wolf takes the lead by a hit. Houston with Cordero on the inside, saving ground in second, pulverizing his drop back to be third. Then on the outside is Sunday Silence fourth. Easy goer on the outside is fifth at this point, three and a half lengths off the lead. Larry Snyder with Dancel at the rail is next. Then comes Rock Point and three links back to the trailer Hawkster, who is 15 links off the leader, who is now Houston as they move on to the back stretch. The first quarter in 23 and two fifth seconds. It's fast, but not that fast. Down the back stretch. Houston with Cordero leading the pack by three links. Northern Wolf is second, and now the Kentucky Derby winner. On the outside, Sunday Silence takes second, and here comes Easy Goer with a quick move on the outside with Pat Day. Going down the back stretch. It's Houston in front by a head. Easy Goer, the favorite, up to challenge. Sunday Silence between horses in tight quarters there. Back into third. Dancil is fourth. Northern Wolf fifth. Rock point on the outside. Six pulverizing his head. He's back to seventh, and Hawkster hasn't started to run. Midway on the turn. Dancil on the outside to the front. On the outside, here comes Sunday Silence to challenge. Now they're heads apart. Sunday Silence with Pat Valenzuela takes the lead at the quarter pole. Easy goer back in the second position. Dancil coming on third in the stretch. On the outside, it's Sunday Silence. On the inside, easy goer. And down the stretch they come. On the outside, it's Sunday Silence. Easy goer with Pat Day. Back to challenge. Heads apart. Easy goer on the inside with a slight lead. On the outside, Sunday Silence. The rest of them far back. Here's the face of the Preakness. Sunday Silence and easy goer. Photo finish. Nose is apart. I can't tell. But on the outside, Sunday Silence with Pat Valenzuela. He's waving his whip like he thinks he won it. The time, 153 and 45 seconds. A dramatic photo finish. Either Sunday Silence on the outside, the winner of the Derby, who will try to make it two steps to the Triple Crown, or easy goer at the rail with Pat Day. What a finish! seen the race that everybody wanted to see here today. Two magnificent colts battling out head to head, nose to nose, down the stretch. Who won it? If I had to make a guess, I would say Sunday Silence on the outside, but hold all your tickets because that is a pure guess. There's Pat Valenzuela. He did wave his whip. Charlie Whittingham isn't sure. No, no, he, I don't think he's sure. Wants uh, to be... But it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a wait till the photo there. Shug McGahee. They're both going to go down the, towards the winning circle, winter circle, just in case. 153 and 4, we did not get the track record or stakes record that we thought might be achieved here this afternoon. It wasn't for lack of running, Jim. Three quarters and 109 and 2, and these two Colts hooked up and ding dong through the stretch. I believe Sunday Silence probably got the nod. A really game performance. I mean, this was a stretch finish written in Hollywood. Uh, Pat, can you hear me? This is Jim McKay. Yeah, I can, Jim. Do you think you've got it? I think so. What does it look like? As I said, on a guess, I said, I thought you had it. But it, I'll tell you, it's a whisker one way or the other. Do you feel sure you have it or not? I'm almost positive. Pat tried to screw me the whole way around and he couldn't do it. Okay. What we got? Still a photo. No unofficial result as yet. Let's take a look at that stretch run, Charlesy. This is one to remember. All right. Houston was... was uh... No, there's easy goer right now. Easy goer again. Okay. Down on the inside, he was game fighting back. There you see as they turn for home. They've taken the lead away from Houston, and Sunday Silence made a big move on easy goer, who had made a big move going into the turn. And as they turn for home, I mean, you can't call the finish here. These two Colts are head and head, tooth and tooth. Unofficially, it is, it is Sunday, Sunday Silence. Silence. Go ahead, Charlie. Here they come. It's just, just a very game battle between the two. Both riders going. Pat Valenzuela going for a right-handed stick. He's in close. Easy goer is along the rail. They're, they're just eyeball to eyeball, these two. And easy goer, you know, down along the rail there. Maybe that's not the best spot, but both riders riding hell-bent. And here they come, two of them together. It's a bob of the head all the way to the wire. 
Sunday Silence. What a game cult. They're both game. I mean, this is this is a storybook finish. This is what we waited for. This is horse racing, and it could, in fact, be Ali Dar and Affirmed all over again, going in all three of the Triple Crown races. With the result the same. <laughs> With the result the same. That's what I mean. One more. It's unofficial, uh, remember, but it sure does look like it he had it there. Uh, Pat, unofficially, you're the winner. Can you hear me, Pat? Yeah, I can. You got it. All right. <laughs> One more to go. Charlie Whittingham, he promised us a triple crown winner, and he's two-thirds there. Well, as we said, the people, some people, just don't want to believe the horse. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is either an inquiry or an it objection. To be a objection. Inquiry. No, it's an objection, Charlie. Uh, Charlesy. It's an objection on the board, not an inquiry. Pat Day is claiming a foul in the stretch run. This is the Strewers room right. where they'll look very carefully at these pictures, and this is why we continue to say unofficial, unofficial, he unofficial. Was, he was close down on the rail. They I don't know how much brushing there was, and we see the head on, but Valenzuela had him right close against the fence. That's probably the problem there. Okay, I don't think I have to ask you to stay with us, you watching at home. Well, the horses have landed, but the result is very much in doubt.